The Click PLC programming software version 3.60 has added support for the new Remote PLC mobile app, which allows users to view and edit PLC registers and view PLC status from an iOS or Android mobile device. Any CPU with Ethernet or Bluetooth communications supports this feature. We will install the latest Click PLC programming software version 3.60, which introduces an exciting new feature, the Remote PLC mobile app. This app empowers users to effortlessly access and modify PLC registers and monitor PLC status directly from their iOS or Android mobile device. This powerful functionality is compatible with any CPU equipped with Ethernet or Bluetooth communication. Our next steps will involve installing the new Click PLC software, updating the firmware, putting the new remote PLC mobile app application to the test on our Click PLC. Let's get started. Detailed information contained in this video can be found at accautomation.ca. A link has been put in the description below. If you have not watched the other videos yet, there will be links in the description below that will start you with video 1. There will be links to the rest of the videos in the series as well. Install the new Click 3.6 version software. Download the latest Click programming software here. Once downloaded, Expand the zip file and then select the clicksetup.exe file to install the software onto your Windows 10 or 11 machine. You must have an Intel or AMD 86 processor, 32 or 64 bit with 1 GHz or higher clock speed. With 2 GB free RAM and 300 MB free storage, this program does not require much computing power. Your display must be SXGA, which is 1280 by 1024 minimum resolution. While the Click programming software is being installed, you can also install the free Click Remote PLC mobile app from the Google Store or App Store. Click program and update firmware. Start the new Click PLC programming software version 3.60. The What's New feature guide will be displayed. This will show you the latest features, improvements and bug fixes. On the last screen of this window, we can select Don't Display This Dialog next time. If we need to review the information again, this can be found under the main menu Help New Feature. When the startup window displays, we will select Open Existing Project. Select the Click Remote PLC app and select Open. This program consists of just an end statement for the program and is configured for our hardware. Select System Configuration from the main menu Setup. This will show you that we have a C2 03 CPU with a power supply and a C208DR 4VC slot card. Our discrete inputs are X1 to X4, and analog are DF1 and DF2. The discrete outputs are Y1 to Y4, and the analog are DF3 and DF4. If we look at the configuration of slot 0, we will see that the first analog input is set for 0 to 5 volts, and the scale range is from 0.0, .0 to 50.0 in DF1. Select Cancel. Staying on the Setup tab of the main menu, we can select COM port. This will open up the COM port window setup. We will review the setup of the WLAN, port 1, Ethernet, and Bluetooth port setup. You will see that we have enabled Bluetooth and selected Remote PLC. Select Write Project from the main menu Home. The Connect to PLC window will be displayed. Select the PLC or method to download the program and select Connect. Once the connection is established, a message will be displayed indicating that firmware needs to be updated in the Click PLC. Select OK to update the firmware now. The Update Firmware window will now be displayed. Ensure that the PLC mode switch is set to stop. Select Update. Prompts will ask you about the backup of an existing program and if you want to update the firmware. Confirm these settings to continue. A pop-up window will display the status of firmware update. When the firmware has been updated, a confirmation window will appear. Select OK. 
you will see that our CPU firmware is now set for version 3.60. Select the right project from the main screen home once again. Write our project into the Quick PLC. Once our program has been written, select OK. Set up Remote Application App. Using the Click Programming Software, we can now set up the Remote PLC software for our application. Select Remote PLC Setup from the main menu, Remote PLC. The Remote PLC Setup window will be displayed. This window can set up everything you need for the remote application on our Android or iOS devices. Ensure that the Enable Remote PLC is selected. Ours was chosen automatically because we select a remote PLC for our Bluetooth connection. The communication setup will show you what is available for the remote click application. We saw this setup previously. This is just a shortcut to set up the communication ports on the Quick PLC. Select Setup under the Remote User. The Remote User Setup window will be displayed. This screen will allow us to put in five different profiles of users for the remote application and select access to certain information. System Project Information, Error History, and System Monitor can be selected for each profile. A password must be assigned to each profile to set it up. Our demonstration will turn on everything for the admin profile and we will use password of 1234. Select OK. Under the Remote PLC Monitor Setup, select Setup in the Remote PLC Setup window. The Remote PLC Monitor Setup window will be displayed. This is the screen we will program to indicate what can be controlled or viewed in the PLC. Select the Add button. This will now display the Add Remote PLC Monitor window. Select the Remote Monitor name. We can now add addresses we want to monitor and control in the PLC. Use the Fill Down button to list consecutive addresses in the list. We will enter all of the discrete inputs and outputs of the PLC and the first analog input and output. Set the read only for the addresses we do not want to be changed. In our case, these are the discrete inputs and analog inputs. We can set the permitted users of these addresses. Select OK. We can now set up to 32 monitor items with 10 addresses each for the connected click PLC. Select OK. Returning to our user profiles, you will see that whether the corresponding monitor list is selected as we choose the user. Transfer the program to the connected click PLC. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button below. Keeping up with the latest automation innovations can be difficult, so make sure you hit the subscribe button so you get more videos like this in the future. Remember to click the bell beside your subscription to actually receive those notifications. Test and demonstrate Click Remote PLC app. Call up the data view window in the Click programming software. This will allow us to monitor and change the I.O. we are monitoring. Note that since we do not have a program in the PLC to change the physical outputs, we can control these with the remote app or through the data view window. In an actual application, internal bits can be programmed in parallel in the latter logic and controlled through the app. On our Android device, call up the installed remote PLC application. Select the Wi-Fi connection. You will see two options, one for our Wi-Fi connection and the one through our Ethernet port 1 connection. The symbol next to the connection will blink the light so we know which PLC we are monitoring or controlling. Select the connection you want to use on your Android device. You will now be prompted for your username and password. In our case, this is admin and 1234. Select login. We can now select monitor or PLC to view the information in the connected Click PLC controller. Select the monitor mode for the addresses we set up in the programming software. The view and edit modes can be selected to monitor or change the values in the controller.
A simple program like this will help you understand the power of this remote machine interface. I recommend you use a sample program and experiment before deploying this application in the field, as we are doing here. Download this sample program from the link below. Let me know how you make out in the comments below. The Click Remote PLC mobile app offers a convenient way to view and edit values in the selected Click Ethernet or Click Plus PLC registers. The mobile app can also check PLC project status information including data stored in error logs. To learn more about this cost-effective Click PLC and its many features, click here.